What you guys got another video here for you on 10 useful Chrome extensions you should try in 2020. These are 10 of the most useful ones that I use on a regular basis, which you will find very useful and make your productivity a lot more quicker and easier to do throughout the day. So let's take a look at the very first one, which we're going to be using in this one. It's called Traffic Light. And this one is sort of based on Web of Trust, but Web of Trust isn't really sort of a, a useful program anymore because it's manipulated by uh, the general public, whereas this one's owned by uh, Bitdefender. You can see here, it basically gives you a green tick here to tell you the websites are safe. So if you was looking for Microsoft support, all of a sudden you will see a red one here, which tells me that this is a bad site and it's known for fraud. So you don't want to be clicking on these sites because these are sites for like um, tech support scammers and sites like that. So having this installed will save you a lot of money and also stop you from getting scammed or getting infected by malware and things like that. So let's click on the actual link here and we'll see what it actually does when we click on the site itself. It does do a little pop up box here. I wouldn't advise you to click on these. You don't really need to click on them, but I do want to show you that it does actually tell you uh, that this site is not a trustworthy site by clicking on it. You can see here fraudulent page blocked uh, for your protection. Very useful uh, add on for your browser. I would advise everyone to download and use this really, really useful and it will stop you from getting infected. Another one is called Mercury Reader. Mercury Reader is great for people who like to read articles online. And the trouble is over the years, the websites have become more and more bloated uh, because of uh, the amount of adverts and banners and other stuff that they've got on those websites. Now, what a Mercury Reader does is remove all of this content and just show you the actual article itself. So you can see there's a bunch of stuff happening on here. It can be a bit distracting and a bit disturbing when you're trying to read a decent article. You can use Mercury Reader like this and just click start and it will just get down to the article itself which makes it nice and easy uh, to read. And of course, it makes it much more an enjoyable experience when you're reading an article. Now, of course, these websites do rely on adverts to pay the bills. And of course, I can totally understand that. But obviously, overdoing it will obviously drive people away, in my personal opinion, or use more extreme measures. So you can see here, we do have also the ability to send this to Kindle, which is quite nice as well. So this application is quite good for people who do this on a regular basis, who do take a lot of time in reading articles. Next one we're going to take a look at is Save to Pocket. This is another pretty useful um, plugin if you like to save a lot of articles and read them at a time that suits you. Now, sometimes we scour the Internet and we keep bookmarking stuff. And of course, eventually we just got so many bookmarks, we don't know what we was uh, bookmarking that for. And of course, you can categorize it and stuff like that. But say, for instance, you wanted to read this article a little bit later on in more depth, you can do. You can then obviously use it save to pocket to save that to a category. For instance, you can create your own category here and you can categorize all your articles. For instance, you can call them ransomware. You can call them malware. You can call them tech news, whatever it is you want to call your articles. And you can put them all into a nice uh, all the there so you can go back at a later date and read these articles at your own leisure. It makes it a lot more easier to manage the articles that you're reading on a regular basis. So you may have a good few favorite sites that you like to go to. And of course, what this does is it allows you to save some of their latest stuff uh, into your save to pocket and you can read those at a later date. And uh, that's basically how that works. Let me just show you the actual application in more detail here. So it's going to save my pocket here and we can take a look at the list of stuff that I've just saved here. So we're going to open up our pocket and inside here it will say your new pocket awaits. So go to your list, click on here and you will now see all the lists of the stuff that you've just saved. They'll be all in order here and it will tell you uh, when you've saved them. And uh, you can see here favorites, highlights, tags, articles, videos, anything you want to save in there you can read at a later date or watch at a later date. Very, very useful for people that are stumbling across stuff on the internet and they think, oh, that's a decent article. I want to read that, but I don't have time. 
you can save it in your little my pocket here and read it at a later date that means you don't forget what to read whereas if you put everything in bookmarks it can just get lost or buried in the amount of bookmarks you've got you can also tag favorite archive delete and share these items as well with other people so if you want to share them across your social media platforms you can do very simple all you need to do here is click on the three dots go up to where it says share and you can copy the link recommend send to a friend view original or twitter linkedin reddit all that sort of good stuff and you can also remove them once you've finished reading them simple okay so let's move on to another uh, item here which is called loom now loom is a pretty decent screen capture software which works inside your browser you can just add it to your browser here and what this does is it allows you to capture the actual desktop screen here which can be quite useful for people that want to quickly show someone something and uh, want to email it to them or send them a link to it where you can say this is what's happening to my computer or this is what I get and uh, stuff like that so you can see here you can catch your microphone and also your camera if you want to do a quick live feed or a conference call you can do that as well you've got your full desktop here and also you can screen capture your screen and also your camera you can also download the desktop application and install this on your desktop you can toggle on and off the actual audio if you wish if you just want to do your screen only you can do and if you want to do just cam only you can do that as well so whatever you want to do here you can do with this program free to use pretty decent click on start recording and it will then start recording uh, your settings what you've set up here so you can see here use uh, photos for your screen only also control menu and recording countdown you can turn that on as well so once you click on this you can uh, select the screen that you've got so for instance we'll do screen one and you can click on start and this will start capturing uh, the desktop screen now down here will be where your camera will be displayed here and this will be where my face would be but of course I cannot show that because the girls will go absolutely wild for my uh, face reveal so I'm not going to do that today but once you've got that you can pause cancel close and uh, you'll be pretty much good to go from there so yeah once you cancel this out it will close and cancel the recording or you can save it and it will save it and it will save it for you so let's move on to another one which is called click and clean and this is another add-on which you can add to your browser now this is great if you like to have more control over cleaning what type of data you want from your browser we need to do here is click on add to chrome and we're going to add that extension into chrome here now this is what you're going to see this can be where you're going to change all of your settings inside here so all of your settings that you want for click and clean will be changed inside of here now there's also a graphic user interface in here which makes it a lot more easier to set up as well for the stuff that you want to do with click and clean so let me quickly show you what that looks like that's up the top of the browser in the top right hand side here you can click on this and it will give you all of the stuff up the top here so you can see here we've got securely close the browser we've also got clean uh, private data we can clean out our cache uh, also on there and we can also wipe out our history if that's what we want to do and we can also look at the extensions and the downloads area here and also we can uh, do the cookies if we want to clean out the cookies or the downloads we can do by clicking on these incognito privacy test also your memory and you've got a bunch of links down the bottom for options and also check for updates and things like that so very very useful if that's what you want to use in your browser now this one is another one that I like to use which is called full page screen capture now if you want to get a full page screen capture then this software is a must have better kit because what it will do is it will capture the whole web page in one uh, fell swoop which will then allow you to make that into a PDF file this is great for articles and things like that so if you want to use something like this you can do it's awesome for that type of thing 
it's very simple to use. You'll normally see a website here with a bunch of stuff on here. And what it would do is it'll clean all this stuff up and then make it into one full page here. So let's go up to the top and we can get the little cookie monster going up there and it will just take a load of little bites to capture all of the uh, page. It's a little Pac-Man there, you know what Pac-Man is. And there we have our web page all in one fell swoop there. We've got that there, we can zoom in and you can also save this to a PDF file as well, email, stuff like that. So let me just quickly show you that here. So I'm just gonna open this up it may get a little box popping up here that's just asking for permission to allow this to save this as a PDF file. So all we need to do here is just click on allow and this will allow the PDF file to be saved. And you can see down the bottom there. So when we open this up, this will be the PDF file and it saved that all the way down the whole page. As you can see here, really useful stuff. There you go nice and easy so it's great for tutorials and things like that and if you want to save them and it might be a, a, a useful tutorial that you use all the time so if you keep hunting around for it on the web you can quickly save it zoom in and take a look on how to do certain stuff or if video format is your thing you can always subscribe to my channel and I do videos pretty much every day which will help you out with that sort of stuff as well so we've got also here another one which is called any desk now there's quite a few of these out there and uh, you can basically download this for any platform. And once you get this, you'll be able to use this to remote into friends and family or people that you're trying to give support to. Now there is also Google Chrome Remote, which is a browser add-on, which I was gonna show you, but I think this is slightly better than that because it does have a lot more different settings in here, which gives you a little bit more control. So I wanted to just quickly show you this one here. Let me go ahead and get this open. So this is what you're gonna get here, really simplistic sort of setup here. You'll have this desk, which is your number, and then your remote desk, which is the person that's gonna give in a number to put in there. So their number will be this desk on their side. They give you that number, you put it in there, and then you push connect and you'll connect to their machine and you'll be able to fix or do anything you like with their machine. You can also set up unattended uh, access here, which is nice, which you can't do on the uh, Google remote um, desktop you can't do that on there but you can on this one so pretty decent for that sort of thing and very simple and easy to set up and do remote support to all your friends and family to fix any sort of uh, computer issues that they may be having with their pc got a little bit of settings inside here i'm not going to go too deeply into it but it is just what it is it's just a piece of remote software now this one for me is a must-have better kit it's called grammarly it's been out for a quite a while now but if you're like me that really struggle with uh, punctuation and also spelling and things like that, and you've got an article that you want to write and you want to do it properly, then this really will help you out getting the uh, proper spellings and stuff like that. Now, I'm not the best speller in the world, and I'm certainly not the best uh, person for punctuation and things like that, as people always keep reminding me in the comments section below. But it doesn't bother me because I'm open about it and it doesn't really matter. But I'm just showing you here how easy this program is to quickly correct some of the mistakes that you may be doing here when you're writing stuff out. So we're all uh, sort of prone to this sort of thing. It depends on how far you want to take it, you know, but this really is useful because it swaps words out as well that are not quite correct uh, for that. You can see rather than a inch is an inch and uh, move and you put a comma in there and it does a bunch of other stuff so really really useful so if you're like me and struggle with this sort of stuff then this might be something that will be useful for you and especially it will stop a lot of people from coming down on you with a ton of bricks every time you make one simple spelling mistake or you use the wrong type of word instead of using the correct word so that's a very useful extension now another one here is called print friendly now, print friendly is quite a useful add on because it allows you to remove stuff that you want to print. For instance, if you've got a, a certain sort of article that you want to print out, but you don't want all of the stuff cluttered around it and just make it nice and clear, you can use print friendly for that. It really is useful for that type of thing. So, for instance, if you've got a particular article, let's just say this article here. What you can do is remove certain parts of that article which allow you to create your own 
a print out of it so if you want to do a handout maybe you don't want uh, this young lady's face on there and you might want to remove that because it spoils the look of the article or a handout that you're going to be giving out for a, tu a tutorial or something like that you can remove all this stuff very simply and just leave him inside there leave a bit of text maybe you want to remove a bit of text because it mentions her name and she's not now in it you can remove her out and remove the text out and you can just get it exactly how you want it just like so and then you can email this to yourself or person that you want to email it to you can save it as a PDF file or you can print it very very simple and easy to do a really nice bit of kit this makes it really nice and useful especially when you send things to people and you want to get rid of all the clutter and you just want to get down to what you're actually trying to say very simple anyway that is 10 useful little browser extensions for Google Chrome my name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope you find these ones useful guys stay safe out there and I shall see you again for another video real soon have a great weekend bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos